is also what we are trying to do desperately at that, is uh, when hundreds of citizens of Ujjain turn their back on this young child, some of them shooing her away, and it's very evident on CCTV, there were this clutch of sadhus, and one of them in particular, who covered this young child in a blanket, took her to a hospital, uh, the police came in, and uh, you know it's, it's, it's uh, something that should be told, because the policemen who took this young child to the hospital were the ones who donated blood for this young girl, because there was no immediate family, nobody knew where she came from, and uh, not lauded, but at least spoken of, because we are trying very hard to look for that sadhu, we haven't been able to, but you know, in the sea of what we call inhumanity, there are a few good men and women, and they must, their story must be recorded and told. I want to cut across immediately to Lalita Kumara Manglam, former chairperson, NCW. You know, ma'am, once again, I want to just, uh, uh, this case is heartbreaking to say the least. A 12-year-old child for seven hours roams the streets of a city desperately seeking help. Every day, it seems as a collective, we cross another threshold of being inhuman. I agree. It's uh, sickening that, uh, you know, this is supposed to be Mahakal country, Ujjain, where uh, it's holy land for many people in this country. And in this land, if uh, we have this sort of inhumanity, this sort of terrible, terrible uh, human beings, I mean, for want of another word, human beings, where is their humanity? Um, this is not the fault of any politician or any party. I just don't want to politicize this. As a country today, we really should be ashamed, ashamed that we turned away a 12-year-old child who could well have been, you know, somebody we know, somebody related to us. When you see her literally bleeding alone, begging for help, how can anybody be so inhuman as to turn her away? I'm sure people will say, oh, we were afraid of the police and all that sort of nonsense excuses. But we Indians have become spineless and heartless. You know, it's very easy to always blame the other side. The, 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 the judges, the police, the, the everybody, as we say, everybody is blamed. We will never take responsibility and never t even say sorry. I'm sure any one of those scores of people who turned this poor child away, who committed that sin, and I mean, a really horrible sin, one of the darkest sins anybody can commit, um, uh, will say that, oh, you know, we didn't want to get involved. This whole thing about not wanting to get involved, what is this? They could have called the police if they did not want to get involved. They could have called an ambulance. I'm sure they would have, if, if it had been one of their own people, people they knew or loved or whatever, somebody, a teacher, a relative, a friend, whatever, you know, or even a big film star for that matter, somebody whom, you know, they thought they would get publicity from. But otherwise, why don't we even care? This is the depth of patriarchy. If this had been a young boy, I'm willing to, you know, change my name if, nobody, if everybody had treated that little boy, the way they treated this little girl. Even today, this is the, the acid depths of patriarchy that young girls face over and over and over again. And hats off to that gentleman, the sadhu, who has done this without even asking for credit. God True. bless him. Hats off also to the policemen who donated True. blood. There are, as you say, there are good and bad. But in this case, it is not, you know, the people who are in governance the police, etc., who have been wrong. It is the people, the common man, who is terribly, terribly wrong. And Mom, they should right really there. feel ashamed. You're right there. We, you know, we were trying to get the policeman as well who donated the blood, uh, practically saving this young child's life. The sadhu, he was on the move, but, uh, you know, God bless him. Uh, but, yes. I, you know, I want to come back. I want to come back with a question, ma'am, because, yes, you know, we can keep talking about that it's about the people. Yes, it is about the people. But, you know, and, and hopefully I'm going to take you away from party affiliation here. Somewhere down the line, cases like this, uh, Ms. Kumara Manglam, become primarily of your state, your rapes against my state, my rapes. Yes. You know, if you put it out there, the it's map, wrong. Mad 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 Madhya Pradesh is number two on the crime list where against, uh, crime against women are concerned. So yes, you know, if we talk about a Rajasthan and the crime against women, Madhya Pradesh is really not far. You know, and someone really needs to look at it from that perspective and maybe work towards that. I agree. That is a different question altogether, which you're talking about. But I agree with what, and I, I totally understand the point you're making, that states, especially where abuse against women, not just rape, any form of abuse against women, whether it's dowry, whether it's child marriage, whether it is uh, sexual abuse, whether it is, 
you know, uh, um, abuse in the in the workplace, etc. They need to uh, seriously introspect, regardless of which uh, party may be in power, BJP, Congress, JDU, whatever, uh, in the South, DMK, YSR, whatever, it doesn't make a difference. They need to introspect and they need to really come out with some very, 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 uh, very, very strict adherence to the law. The problem here also is most people don't know the law and are not afraid of the law. I have relatives who practice in the posh field and they will tell you that big companies who are willing to take up cases are not able to pe find people who will come forward to give evidence. You know, the law is based on evidence. And True. evidence is something that Indians seem to uh, balk. We just don't want to come forward and give evidence. We always want to be the good person. We don't want to come and point the finger at somebody who is actually the criminal. And this is across the board. It has nothing to do with, I think, state or money or education. It's right. a mindset that we need to get out of. It's one of the things that, that helps patriarchy or rather literally you know, gives it such a big boost because men True. know they will get away with it. And uh, but but again, as per the data, whichever state has data that shows that they that I mean, it doesn't matter if it's high or low, rape right. is rape, regardless. Ma'am, thank must you for be saying dealt that. With very very strictly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you. I have said this before. I have said this before openly. When Bill Kismanu's uh, rapists were given bail, I was the only one who said that it's wrong. It doesn't matter. Rape and thank you for saying that. You know, there are very few people who can actually move beyond party affiliation and say that. And thank you for saying that. Appreciate you taking uh, the time out and joining us. Thank you.